Hi, welcome to another edition of Fusion Talk. Just want to chat to you about, um, and for my son who is going to college, about trying to manage himself on his own as he leaves home. And also for those who are in transition, you know, as a career counselor for 20 years and uh, give a lot of uh, advice. And uh, uh, this is one thing that's uh, pretty much the standard. Uh, and hopefully this will guide my son in developing a skillful uh, person and knows his strength, weakness, inclinations, and others to thrive in, in school, in career. So hopefully uh, with this constantly changing market demands, um, political, economic, personal needs, values, changes because of social media, working environment, we, we should learn how to navigate using some of the skills to remain dynamic. And the key is just constantly learn. You know, I read and listen to books almost every day and you should see my library um, downstairs, my home. Um, we have like uh, shelves of books. Um, and done that in the past 30 years. Uh, um, some of the books I don't finish. Uh, so cons constantly learn, you know, that's the first key. And improve yourself, develop skills. We, we should never stop learning and um, stay on status quo. Um, and self-improving strategy will take us a long way. Um, and I learned that in a way in my dad as every summer, every single summer, um, starting when I was a teenager, he takes me to summer school. Um, I wish I've done that with my son, um, you know, refrigeration, computer repair, uh, speech power, you know, feng shui, you know, all this was taught to me uh, through school. Second is know your strength and weakness, um, acknowledge them. Um, so just, in, if you have your strength, don't stop there, continue to learn your strength, but also your weakness. Try to um, maintain, um, uh, try not to maintain and stay weak on that area. Uh, learn something about it. Um, third is to, um, if you are out of college or like my son's working right now, he learned different kinds of job, um, work on a second career. Um, this is like my fourth career, possibly, and my second major, or my third major career. First was, uh, you know, work in a bank, and then work in the Navy for the longest time as a career counselor, and then as a business owner, marketing manager, and still learning how to be a DJ and, uh, you know, social media, um, you know, blogging and stuff. So learn to change and challenge um, ourselves by learning new skills um, so in summary you know start self-development you know journey by learning constantly learning learn to um, distinguish your strength and weakness um, get some feedbacks from other people um, and that's the best way to learn your weakness uh, if you're constantly being criticized on something maybe there's something you need to work on that um, third is uh, start carrying out feedback um, or oh that's the second one so continue to learn uh, from the feedback and um, third is learn how to communicate uh, yourself to other people um, and I didn't mention that so learn how you can do your job better um, and lastly well, let me elaborate communication because that's really a key on most of the things. Um, learn how to be a bit more transparent and honest, but kind and and supportive. Um, and so lastly, um, take a second, learn how to have prepare yourself for second career because you cannot stay in the Navy for a long time. You cannot be a banker. You cannot be um, a business owner for a long time. Learn you know, explore your skills and learn a second, third, or even fourth career, uh, which I am going through right now. Uh,
because you never know, you know, um, things change constantly, especially nowadays. So hopefully you can develop this sun and um, you will be on top of everything that you do and um, 